Well, you know, I, I went to college, um, really knew I wanted to be in sales, got into sales and actually answered an ad in the paper uh, to sell cars in Little Falls, Minnesota. Started selling cars, worked my way up into management. When I was in as a finance manager, I met Joe Sexton. His role was a sales manager. I was a finance manager. We worked well together. Well, Gary and I worked together five years earlier and then I left that dealership to go to a different dealership as a sales manager. And when we found, when I found this, it was in the neighborhood of Little Falls, because Gary was working in Little Falls and the dealership was in Pierce. So I called Gary and said, hey, this is an opportunity, do you want to take a look at it? We drove over there and it was a dirt parking lot, very small, small building, five employees total. And he looked at me, he goes, are you nuts? And I said, yes, and he goes, me too, let's try. So that's kind of how it started. And, uh, and it just grew from there. We had to convince Chrysler that we were a good risk. And at the time, the dealership was really underperforming. And so we went to Chrysler time and time and time again over about a six or eight week period and finally got them to say, you know what, you're not a bad risk. You don't have any money, but you're not a bad risk. When we started, it was Gary and I. We would sell the cars, we would wash the cars, we would finance the cars. We did everything from start to finish. A lot of things have changed since we started. Uh, obviously, we've had a lot of fortune in having a lot of growth and starting with five employees and now having hundreds of employees. Just the simple fact of that, um, you see a ton of uh, a growth and a ton of changes throughout the years. Simply put, the way we do things today is a lot different than the way we've done it in the past. One of my biggest accomplishments is getting into a business somewhat blind in the sense that we didn't have the resources to buy a franchise car dealership and we, we dug our feet in and we really found a way to do it. And here we are 20 years later and not only have we grown, but we've sustained and grown which in our industry can be really, really challenging because it's so competitive. Financially, our biggest challenge was 08, 09, right? Keep in mind, we moved in in March of 08, our new building, right? So we have this new, big, fancy building, and 2008, the crash happens. Our biggest challenge was 2008 and 2009. There was a downturn in the economy and especially in the car business. There were challenges with our factory. And not only were these challenges going on, but we just were coming off of our biggest expenditure ever in building this big brand new dealership, spending more money than we ever have in our lives. And quite honestly, there were days there and nights there that were maybe sleepless because for a while there, we didn't know if we were going to have a franchise to operate with. It was challenging. We didn't have a whole heck of a lot. And at the time, business was good, but it really went south fast. So we had bankers knocking on our door every day. Um, we just rolled up our sleeves and kept doing what we do, kept talking to people. We knew people still had to drive cars to get to work and we made it through it. We did everything we could to not show any kind of concern because if we're showing concern, our employees will pick up on that. That was difficult. Uh, we didn't know what the next day would bring. Once we found out that we were still going to have a franchise, we still had the daunting task of getting through these tough economic times. What my biggest accomplishment to me is watching not only young, but inexperienced people grow. It's, that's probably the best part about my job. That's probably about the best part of my accomplishments is taking someone who maybe was working paycheck to paycheck or living paycheck to paycheck and maybe renting an apartment or doing something like that and watching that person, man or woman, grow into buying a house, raising a family. And I get to be a part of that. I take a lot of pride and it's been, it's been a lot of fun, a lot of fun watching our employees grow, but more importantly, watch them, their families grow as well. And who knows what's going to happen as we move forward. You know, we're, um, we're in our 50s now. Um, uh, our kids are getting older, and we may not be around as much, but just the love of the business and the love of working with our staff and customers will keep Joe and I around day-to-day -day for an awfully long time yet, I think.